In this video, we're going to talk about a deviant unleashed, Peter Kayarn's war against his creators. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Rat City, issue number three, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Rat City, Peter is on the run from PTS. The organization that previously helped restore his legs has shown its true colors. So issue number two, Peter Kayarn and his buddy Reese came to the PTS to get some upgrades, but deep down what they really want to do is dissect them for further research. So back at PTS headquarters, it's an all out war. After all they endured, Peter and Reese were thrown back into a war zone, but the suit wouldn't let anything happen to them. So now that Peter Cairns is fully taken over by Spawn 2099 suit, even though it took place in Spawn issue number 300 when that necroplasmic reaction happened in Spawn issue 300, 301, well, Peter Cairns in the future reaped the benefits of it. But in order for him to truly understand those benefits or to figure out what those benefits is or what's really going on, he's got to get his buddy Reese up out of there. So he picks up Reese and they just duck and head for shelter or head for something else that's different than that surrounding location right now. So Peter was working on pure adrenaline and instincts. So he gets Reese up out of the building. So when he gets out of there, he has to figure out what's he going to do, what's his next move. Well, he's got to get Reese to the hospital. So he runs and goes to the, from there. He's asking for help, but people don't realize what's going on. So they tell him, get out of the way, you freak. Wait, help? You know, so Peter realizes the motto that Reese tells him from issue number one, adapt or die. No one's going to help you out, bro. You got to figure it out. So even though he's got this new cool looking costume right now, mm, well, he's got to figure out what to do with it and what it's all about later. So meanwhile, Dr. Bose and his group are looking at every drop of blood because they want to check out the nanites. And Dr. Bose has a brief with the chairman. He wants to be prepared. So he's studying the blackout because when Spawn issue 300 caused all that blackout with that necropathic reaction, he has to figure out what is up with those suits that those veterans that were provided to them and we still don't know what the true intent is, but whatever it is, it is not for the soldier's benefit. It is for the corporation's benefit. So Dr. Bose discovers Reese's phone. He calls it and it ends up with Quinlan. Quinlan was the one that warned Peter Cairns to get up out of there. So Dr. Bose is like, mm, we haven't spoken since you were fired. How that whistleblower complaint work out for you? What'd you guys do to Reese? Why are you calling me from Reese's phone? That's what Quinlan wants to know. But before Dr. Bose can fill in and say, look, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to figure it out. Quinlan's like, I ain't trying to find out. So ducks the phone, puts it in the drink and gets out of there. So Dr. Bose is like, trace that call. I want MX Wally brought in alive. We don't know the extent of the breach and I want that data back. Find who that caped deviant was. Well, it turns out they have the answer. The caped deviant was Lieutenant Karn. Dr. Bose is like, find him for me right freaking now. So at St. Raymond Cemetery in the Bronx, that's where all the other soldiers were buried. Peter is like, look, I wanted a hospital, not a damn cemetery. And Reese is like, it's where I belong. Don't say that, Reese. <laughs> I think, you know, I got off easy. But before Reese's last breath, he tells Peter to find Quillen. And Peter's like, I will. But that's the moment where Reese died right then and there. Even still, Peter couldn't have faced him, couldn't have saved him. So there's this little beam of light flashing on Peter. They're like, hey, where are you? Stay right there. And Peter's like, oh, nah, bro, I got to get up out of there. But this robot looking patrol dog just chases him down and Peter has to get out of there. So the shadow is walking, the suit, he wants to know what's going on because the suit has a mind of its own and he doesn't know where the heck he is, but he's had enough. Peter didn't want to adapt or die, he just wanted to die. So he tries to commit suicide on himself by impaling himself, but the suit would not let him. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to let go of your want to control because you can't control what you want to control. It is what it is. Don't fight the stuff. Just let it happen because none of us have any actual control in the first place. That suit controls Peter now. Kind of like how Spawn's suit took over, but maybe one of these days Peter will learn from Al Simmons how to control that suit. I don't know what Quinlan's doing right now climbing up this building looking like he's trying to commit suicide right now but i am sure we're gonna get a much more hopefully we get some kind of explanation of that so peter karen is at home and all of a sudden he gets ambushed by pts their team open up take it down and peter's like wait he answers the phone and it's quinlan and quinlan tells him you don't know me but before we can get any answer they bombard his door and they look for him fan out they say he's not in the john 
Well, where else would he be? And one of the soldiers recognizes that that's a medal for bravery for the UCN, and he doesn't feel right going after a vet. So they decide to check out the window, and they find a little bit of Peter left behind, running, making his escape. So they chase him down, and the soldier's like, don't move, soldier. Your ass is mine. But Peter's like, bruh, please, see these hands from the future, past, and present. And he's pissed because he gets his memory like, you killed my friend. And that suit is starting to get activated right now with rage, just like how Spawn the more rageful he gets the more piss he gets the angrier and the more powerful that suit gets so these soldiers go up from behind him and tell him to put your hands in the air and peter's like no so they decide to take him down and release fire but peter had more power than he thought possible he just needed to know how to control it so peter goes on the run and those bullets are not doing a damn thing to him so one of the soldiers is like get me in line of dr bose now tell him that we lost a deviant so when Dr. Bose gets word right before meeting with the chairman that the security team called in and they lost Lieutenant Karn, he gets pissed. So he demands that the media leaks that the monster deviant they saw on Owain with Owain Rise, the lieutenant from earlier, you tell them that Karn, Peter Karn, killed a bona fide war hero. And that PTS is offering a reward for anyone who has information on Peter K. Yarn's whereabouts. Way to use the media to get what you want, right? So Dr. Bose is like, go, do your thing, make sure the media does their thing. So the media does do their thing. They go on air and they talk about, hey, Captain Owain Rise was a decorated officer and leader in the conflict in the Caucasus. And his murder comes as a shock to many in the veteran community as his killer was none other than veteran Lieutenant Peter Kayon. So Peter Kayon goes on the rooftop, finds Quinlan and tells Quinlan, look, I won't hurt you, but what's going on? And Quillen's like, well, they say Rise is dead. Is that true? Did you do it? Did you kill him? And Peter's like, no. Reese was like a brother to me. He saved my life in a lot. And that's referencing Rat City issue number one. And Quillen's like, yeah, I saw the footage on the street. A drone caught him with you. Then you just disappeared. Where is he? Where did you take him? So Peter's like, well, he's at St. Raymond Cemetery with the rest of the team that we lost in a lot. I didn't hurt him. I swear. And Quillen's like, I've seen your file and you guys done some pretty jacked up stuff over there. Yeah, we did, says Peter. And we're paying for that. But whatever this thing is, it helped me get Reese out of PTS. And that thing he's talking about is that new futuristic Spawn 2099 suit. And Peter's like, but I want to keep fighting. And the thing is, Reese asked for my help, and I'm going to help him, even if he's not there anymore. PTS messed me up, and I think they caused a blackout that caused this, everything that's all this pandemonium. So because of that blackout, I think PTS caused it. Well, little does he know it, they did not. But this is a twisted mind freak over here, you know? Blackout was caused by Spawn at issue 300 or 301. Well, PTS wants to know about it, and Peter is now reaping the benefits, but he has to navigate this very carefully. But Peter continues to tell Quinn that, you know, Reese told him to find you and to help you finish what you started, what y'all started together. And I'll be damned if I don't at least try. So what's going on over here? And Quinlan's like, look, PTS didn't cause the blackout, Peter. I did as he commits suicide. And we're left with yet more of a mystery what all this means as we end this issue of Rat City, issue number three. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by Coffee, so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.